We're gonna do a breakdown of this stream. Let's do it now. All right, if you didn't know, Bungie just did a stream of their new Rise of Iron DLC drop that they're having in September. So we're gonna go through the reveal trailer and show all the goodies that I've noticed. So uh, let's just watch it at normal speed first so you guys can see it and then we'll break it down later. So here it is. We thought we were indestructible. The Lords of Iron. We swore we would do anything to protect the last city. Some of us paid the ultimate price. I am all that remains. We thought we had sealed away the plague for eternity. But now, it has returned. And this time, with a fallen army. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Stand with me, Guardian. Prove yourself worthy, and the Iron Lords will rise again. Pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gjallarhorn. Amazing. And that Gjallarhorn though. Okay, so as promised, let's take this thing frame by frame, shall we? Okay, so we hit play. And then we see Lord Salon walking in the snow. All majestic like with his wolves. Super cool. It plays on a little bit. To protect the last city. Some I see something in the distance. I and then... That, remains. that line right there, I am like the only one who remains. It seems like kind of a repetitive a little bit. Like, sure, fine, the Iron Lords are dead. Like, that's fine. But like... Haven't we already had this with, like, Eris Morin? Like, she went down in the pit, and she was the only one that came out. I don't know. It's a little annoying, in my opinion. I don't know. But still cool, nonetheless. So let's continue. And then we see the weird, twisted fallen that looks really interesting. This? This weird scene? I have no idea what this is. I don't know if this is, like some world you teleport to like off in the middle of nowhere or if this is under earth somehow like with all the war mine stuff it looks like it uh with that doorway and when he kind of walks in but this i really have no clue it does look cool and uh i'm i have a feeling this is where that virus thing uh started because the reason why the fallen looks so weird is they found this virus thing that is like, I don't know, it like mutates them like with robotics and stuff. It's kind of interesting. So moving on. We thought we had sealed away the plague for eternity. But now it has returned. And this time with a fallen army. I find that really interesting because they have dealt with this plague thing before and that's what ended up killing off all the Lords of Iron apparently. And it says, and it came back and this time with a fallen army. So what was it before? Like was it just it on its own or did it like infect some other thing? I don't know. But anyways, this time we'll be dealing with fallen obviously. So moving on. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Stand with me, Guardian. 
prove yourself worthy. Another awesome Iron shot. Will rise again. Uh, that, I don't know, that just sums it up. And they actually said it themselves in uh, the stream, the Bungie guys, that you'll actually, like, kind of become uh, an Iron Lord at the end. Like, you'll fight some stuff and uh, just, like, become an Iron Lord. That'd be really cool. I hope it actually, like entails something but either way it's another cool title the slap on your guardian so moving on new story oh that's a nice shot here let's go back uh this shot here we see wait what is that hold on we see a rocket docked uh it kind of reminds me of uh Durizen dragon a little bit on call of duty that area down there with the rocket or whatever and then they're moving in uh, there. I wonder what lurks deep in there. There is a lot of new areas that they have added, which is nice. Like there's, and it's all pretty snowy. I love the snow in any game. But anyways, that looks pretty boss. And uh, moving on. And here's that new social space they were talking about. I thought this might be a character you talk to for a second. But uh, again, looking at it and the way this character moves, it's obviously just a playable guardian. So... Uh, a little misconstrued there on my part. But anyways, this place looks boss. And those are statues of the Lords of Iron from long ago. So, moving on. New weapons and armor. And let's just pause it here. Look at that. Look at that Titan. Boom. That is awesome. Not so much the chest, but man, those shoulders. I love me some pointy shoulders. That guy looks boss. Moving on. Oh, and that hunter right there, that's some Trials of Osiris gear we've learned. So it looks pretty awesome. I love the color scheme on it. I don't know if that's how it comes or if that's an armor shader, but either way, I love the color scheme. Moving on. New raid. Oh, yeah. So this part, obviously, it's the raid because it just said new raid. And we see six guardians standing here. So that big death Zamboni they were joking about. That's somewhere in the raid. Don't know if that's like a boss per se or just a thing you have to deal with or run from. I don't know, but we will definitely learn more about it in the future. So moving on. New strike, new zone. Oh my gosh, new stuff. And I do love that they have a new social space, by the way, like how I it showed before. But uh, I just hope they put... Uh, some stuff in it, maybe a new faction guy or whatever, but uh, yeah, just new social space. I'm hyped, and we get a nice shot of a fusion rifle right there, and then, uh, oh yeah, and then we get to see the axe in action, and there's a little glimpse of the Galahorn right there, and then obviously this again, that galley though. Pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Galahorn. Oh yeah. So that's about it. Hope you guys have enjoyed my brief uh, breakdown of this trailer. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this. It's going to be a lot more opportunities for this channel to hopefully have it grow and just to have more fun in Destiny. And everybody wants that. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is Crazy Night Hero and I am out. Invincible.